today the topic is theory of quadratic equation so in theory of quadratic equation we generally deals with what the uh, equation is uh, because uh, when we deals with, with with the natural or, or real problems there must be some equation that are real that are unreal and uh, some are the complex so so how we can recognize that this equation is real or unreal or complex so uh, the basic parameter to define is by using its discriminant so in this in this equation the basic uh, thing to remember is how to find the nature of a of a quadratic equation so theory of, theory of uh, quadratic equation relates with uh, relates with the nature of quadratic quadratic equation so basically these are the terms that we will uh, study in this topic now uh, what is the nature of quadratic equation so nature of quadratic equation depends on two things first the the equation given as the standard equation is ax square a x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 this is my standard equation okay now how to find the root so the root is the that x equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac upon 2a so this is the basically is is the quadratic equation and this is my quadratic equation and this is how to find the value of x for a given quadratic equation so this term basically this term under the root that is under root b square minus 4 is that is b square minus 4 ac this term is known as discriminant discriminant so what is discriminant discriminant basically is used to to, to find the nature of a given equation so discriminant is that is b square minus 4 ac upon 2a which is which is used to find the nature of a given equation okay so basically in in the 2.1 we have to find the nature of the root of quadratic equation so nature of root of quadratic equation can be found by first method is by using discriminant discriminant equals to b square minus 4 ac so what the value is b b is just the value of the x coefficient the a is the x square coefficient and c is this the constant value so how to find the values now we have to uh, do some examples to 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 find that how to how to find the uh, nature of, of a given given or, or find the discriminant of the given equation so the first uh, equation given is we have to find the value of discriminant b square minus 4 is ac plus c that is 2x square minus 7x uh, plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case, 2x square minus 7x plus 1. So I, we have to find the discriminant. So discriminant equals to b square. Discriminant equals to b square minus 4ac. So what the value is b? b value is this one. That is the coefficient of x. So the value is minus c minus 7 so it must be b value is minus 7 whole square then there's a minus 4 a is 2 and the c is 1 so 2 into 1 so this value equals to 49 minus 4 times 2 is 8 so discriminant of this equation equals to 41 so this is the simplest uh, equation that we have to find the discriminant of a given equation. Now, now how to find or how to analyze that this the, the following uh, answer is the uh, real part or real root or unreal or complexity. So for this, the next topic is basically 
is the nature of root of quadratic equation through discriminant now we have to find the nature of a discriminant uh, nature of root through the discriminant now there are three basic rules that you have to uh, memorize first is when b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 and 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 this is a perfect square and the answer is perfect square perfect square means that the answer is for example 9 so 9 is the perfect square of 3 for 16 25 and like that so this is for for b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 and the answer is a perfect square then the roots are roots are rational rational mean roots are real roots are rational and unequal so for b square b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 and the root and the answer is perfect square so the roots are rational rational mean real and unequal now the second is when the uh, b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 but the answer is not a perfect square answer is not a perfect square not a perfect square so in this case then the roots are basically irrational and unequal so the roots must be irrational irrational and unequal so this is basically is the first one b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 for a perfect square roots are rational and unequal and not a perfect square roots are irrational and unreal now the second second rule is that is second as method is that b square minus 4 ac equals to 0 if b square minus 4 ac answer equals to 0 so roots are rational and unequal so roots are roots are rational and equal so this is the second one b square is greater b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 this is the second one now the third one is when b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 so when b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 this means that roots are imaginary imaginary mean roots are complex conjugate complex mean there must be some iota terms here or or something like iota so these are basically three basic types or the nature when b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 for a perfect square the roots are rational and unequal and the second case when the when it is not a perfect square then roots are irrational and unequal when b square minus 4 ac equals to 0 then roots are rational and equal and when b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 then roots are imaginary so basically these are the four uh, major uh, categories of na nature of a root so uh, just after this we have to uh, find how to find the nature of a given root for for a, for a given problem for example the problem problem given is Uh, this 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 is x square minus five uh, x plus five. We have to find the nature. So we ha must have to find the discrim discriminant first. X square minus five x plus five equals to zero. So discriminant must be b square minus four ac. So b square is uh, that is minus five. 
minus 4 into the value of a is that is a is 1 and the is it's 5 so it must be minus 5 scale 25 minus 4 times 5 is 20 so this value is 5 so discriminant value is greater than 0 and this value is the 5 so 5 is not a perfect scale so roots are basically roots are irrational roots are irrational roots are irrational and unequal i i, I will explain again that uh, first we have to find the discriminant the, the discriminant value equals to 5 so this value 5 is greater than 0 so so and secondly this 5 is not a perfect scale so this means that the roots are irrational and unequal for a given equation this must be uh, depends on different values so so how uh, this will uh, we will find uh, all all the examples through, through this method so now to determine the the value of unknown involved in a given quadratic equation when nature of the root is given now uh, this part means that we have to find a, a given unknown unknown is something that is a b c or, or something else and and the second thing the the roots are given so how to find the value of the unknown for example in this case the value given we have to find the equation that the equation is k plus 3 multiply by x square minus 2 into k plus 1 x minus k plus 1 equals to 0. So first that is we compare we have to find the value if x does not equal k does not equals to minus 3 if k does not equals to minus 3 find the k if the roots are this one equals to 0 equals to 0 means this root equals to this one that it equals to 0 and 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 if k doesn't equals to minus 3 so we have to find first we have to compare that the standard equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 now from this, this is my a that is k plus 3. So a equals to k plus 3. b equals to b value equals to minus 2 into k plus 1. So b equals to minus 2 into k plus 1. And the c value is minus into k plus 1 value equals to minus k plus 1. So these are basically the value of a, b, c respectively. So discriminant must be equals to discriminant equals to b square minus 4ac. b square minus 4ac. So for discriminant, we have to put our values a, b, c in the equation. So what the value of a is b is b equals to so discriminant equals to minus times 2 into k plus 1 whole square minus 4 then a a is k plus k plus 3 into c c is minus k plus 1 c is minus k plus 1 so we have to find the value of this this equation so discriminant must be equals to first we have to find the uh, square so k equals to 4 into this is k plus 1 whole, uh, whole square so k square plus 1 plus 2 times of k into this minus and this minus will minus minus will be plus and then must be 4 into k plus 3 into 
k plus 1 now for the next uh, iteration d equals to discriminant equals to 8 k plus 1 into k plus 2 and this discriminant equals to 0 according to the equation so this discriminant equals to 0 now we have to find 8k plus 1 into k plus 2 equals to 0 after simplification equals to 0 now we have to find the value of k so for this that is 8k plus 1 into k plus 2 equals to 0 so first you have to uh divide this 8 here so so th this must be k plus 1 into k plus 2 equals to 0 so this must be k plus 1 equals to 0 and k plus 2 equals to 0 from here we we find that k equals to minus 1 and k equals to minus 2 these are basically the values of k for uh, discriminant equals to 0 so this is the uh, method to find the unknown when the roots are given this will be the end then in the in, in the next lecture uh, we will we will complete exercise 2.1 that's it from today's today's lecture uh, we'll meet in the next next lecture